Omega-3s has so many healing benefits for our body when it comes to our heart, our blood vessels, our brain, as well as all the cells in our body. The most common ways that we get omega-3 is through our fatty fishes, like our fatty tuna, our salmon, sardines, as well as our chia seeds, flax seeds, walnuts, as well as many other foods. Omega-3 plays a significant role when it comes to decreasing inflammation in our arteries. That inflammation can lead to clogging of the arteries. And if those arteries to the heart are clogged, we call that a heart attack. And if those arteries are blocked to the brain, we call that a stroke. And those omega-3s will decrease those triglycerides in the blood. It will lower your blood pressure. And those omega-3s will also reduce blood clotting. And that will allow the red blood cells to get through the arteries to those important organs. And the research out there shows that the majority of heart attacks and strokes usually occur more often in the early morning hours. And the research shows that the circadian rhythms seem to play a part in blood pressure, body temperature, and other body functions. During the morning hours, blood pressure is usually higher which makes the risk of heart attacks and stroke greater. Researchers found that around 6.30 a.m., the circadian system sends out an increased amount of PAI1 cells, which blocks blood clots from breaking down. And the more PAI1 cells in the blood, the higher the risk for a blood clot to lead to a heart attack or stroke. And it is fortunate that omega-3s plays a significant role in decreasing platelet aggregation. That means decreasing that clogging of those platelets. And those omega-3s have been found to reduce that PAI1. Now, our main stress hormone is cortisol, and it plays many important functions for our body. But having cortisol levels out of whack can really cause detrimental problems to our health. But omega-3s are known to lower cortisol levels. So, our cortisol levels are highest in the morning and lowest at night. And the reason why it's high in the morning is so we can get out of bed, have our energy, have our pep, have our mind focused, and we can just go. But as the day proceeds, our cortisol levels continues to taper off and lowers. So by the end of the day, particularly at nighttime, our cortisol levels are at its lowest. So that's the best time to take our omega-3s when our cortisol level is already at its lowest. So that omega-3 will stay in your system throughout the night, closer to the morning time. Therefore, it will decrease the amount of clotting within those arteries, as well as significantly lowering that percentage of a possible heart attack or stroke. If you have a well-balanced diet, you're going to get plenty of omega-3s throughout the day and night. But if you're not, you can split up a supplement in the morning as well as night. And that should really cover you. Now, here are some responsibilities you must do. If you are overweight, please start losing weight slowly. Being overweight puts you at risk of metabolic syndrome, stroke, heart attack, high blood pressure, diabetes. Please start to exercise, even if it's walking. Whatever you need to do, start doing something. Cut out those sugars, it's inflammatory. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Get your sleep and make sure you're hydrating. I hope you found this video helpful for you, your loved ones. Please share it with them. Leave your comments below because there will be many. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.